God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to refine. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, July 23rd. It's the ninth week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 47 and 48. And Mark chapter 4, verse 21 to 34. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Clap your hands, all you people. Cry out to God with shouts of joy. Alleluia. Psalms 47 and 48. Alleluia. Clap your hands, all you people. Cry out to God with shouts of joy. For you, Most High, are to be feared, a great ruler over all the earth. You subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. You chose our inheritance for us, given to Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, whom you loved. God goes up with a shout, the Most High with the sound of the trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our ruler, sing praises. For God is the ruler of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God reigns over the heathen and sits enthroned in holiness. The leaders of the people are gathered, the people of the God of Abraham and Sarah. For the rulers of the earth belong to God, who is greatly exalted. Alleluia, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised in the city of your holy mountain. Mount Zion is beautiful and the joy of the whole earth, for there is the city of the great king. You are known as a refuge in her palaces, for the kings were assembled, they passed by together, they saw it and they were amazed, and they were troubled and hurried away. Fear took hold of them there and pain, like that of a woman in labor like the ships of Tarshish shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of God most high of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice, let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk around Zion, go all about her, and count her towers. Mark her bulwarks and consider her palaces, that you may tell the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever, and will be our guide until death. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Clap your hands, all you people. Cry out to God with shouts of joy. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Now Jesus said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket, or under the bed, and not on the lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and still more will be given you. For those who have more will be given, and from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. And he also said, The kingdom of God 
is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk and then the head, and then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, he at once goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. And he also said, what, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown on the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. And yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, and they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing for joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts and sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, accept our, these our praises. For we have seen your justice and are glad in you. Be our guide from this day to the next, now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.